Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your reading for January 22nd through the 28th. This is intended to just be a uh, love reading, but the last readings I have done haven't turned out too lovely. So we will see what comes up for you. This is the Ask Angels deck. Just ask a question now. Okay, and at the end of the reading, this card will be revealed and hopefully give you the answer that you've been looking for, hopefully. I feel like it's down here, so I mean, that's what it's going to be. We're also going to get one of these for an overall energy for Virgo. I don't know what I want here either. Let's see. What do we want? Material harvest. This is the nine of pentacles. This is about being grateful for all that you have living very good at this moment, you know, appreciating the finer things in life, okay? Uh, reaping the rewards of what you deserve and being very happy about it. This is also um, like a single person who is very abundant, taking care of themselves, okay? So you may be contemplating being single or you may be single now, but this is uh, usually... You know, the widow, the widower, the divorcee, somebody who is independent, okay? So it's also a card of independence, okay? And being grateful and having the ability to take care of yourself quite well. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you guys a little bit, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Now, just take what resonates and leave the rest because this is such a, for such a wide audience. It will not resonate with every single person. Ah, oh, so you may be dealing with some sneakiness here. We got some sneaky behavior. There could be some lies, some betrayal, some deceit, or even robbery <laughs> of some sort. You know, you may be feeling robbed or something. I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to get into it. But this is definitely a sneaky behavior. Okay. Next to that, we have the Ace of Wands. That's a new beginning. All right. So we do have a new beginning. It's a fertile time. It's a time of growth and a time of passion. I mean, you could have a new sexual partner that comes into your life, or you could just be feeling it. You could be feeling the um, sexual energy from this card, okay? This right here is the sign of Virgo, but it also um, represents a time of reflection, stepping back, uh, realizing what you're really looking for in life, taking the time to become self-aware, okay? So I think most of you that are watching this are probably doing that. You're really coming up with the plan for your future. And it's because you're looking for love. You're looking for that real deal. You're looking for passion. You know, you're looking for more. I think you may be involved in something now or you were involved with something where you just weren't fulfilled. Your heart wasn't fulfilled. And now you're getting ready to let go of something, but you've still been holding on. I can see that you've been holding on to something for some reason. It's like you've been reluctant, okay? You're reluctant to let go of something, and that's why you're going through this period of reflection, this period of solitude, because you have this reluctance to leave something, you know, and the thing is, is you're ready to go. You are ready to go because you feel like you deserve more. You want more. You're looking for more passion. That's all there is to it. You know, with this emperor right here, it feels like you. there's a feeling of uh, family. 
okay, with this emperor right here. And maybe you're deceiving your family. I'm not sure because here's the deceit here. They're, you're dealing with somebody, you're probably dealing with a man in your life that is very um, controlling, very um, family-oriented, and you may be reluctant to make the change that you want for fear of what society will think or your father will think or what others will think you know if you are deceiving yourself by worrying about what others think that's for darn sure this guy is very concerned with the views of others okay but the fact of the matter is, is there's changes that are needed. There is. I mean, we have these fives. Fives are about changes. All right? It is time to make a change. It's a major life change. But they're both, both in reverse because you're reluctant. Because I feel like you, you're, you want to come out of this period of darkness, but you're scared of what everybody else is going to say. But it is time for you to balance out your life, you know. It's time for you to heal. It's time. There's a reason for everything. There's a purpose for everything. It's a time to compromise and blend, okay. You need to be able to blend your desires with your feelings of What's the word for it? I got it right there. I have it in my head. It's like you're just trying to... You're worried about what everybody else is going to think. Your desires come... You need to be able to blend. You need to be able to compromise. You need to be able to take care of yourself and, you know, and try to fit everybody's needs into one. You know what I'm trying to say? And so that's why you're reluctant because you're trying to keep everybody happy at the same time. But you're not happy. You know what I mean? It's like you may be, you're faking something, okay? You're trying to pretend that everything is okay when it's really not. And it's a time of renewal. And, and to get there and to heal, I think you have to let something go that you've been reluctant to let go of. And I know I'm going to repeat myself here, but you want to, but you're not doing it because you're worried about what somebody's going to say. And it's not just somebody. I think it's people. What are people going to say? You And you know that this card is saying, have no fear, move on. Have no fear. Do what's right for you. It's time to come out of the darkness. It's time to, to take control. You're the boss in your own life. I feel like you have a lot of pent up passion. You're holding it in. And you're trying to come up with a plan of how you're going to get out of some kind of situation that you're in without hurting people. Let me zoom this in. You're thinking about independence. Okay, because this is independence and being grateful and knowing that you have everything you need to survive. Let me zoom this in. I want to know what this Seven of Swords is, don't you? This betrayal, this deceit, this sneakiness, these lies. What the hell is this? Oh, somebody's not loving themselves enough. Somebody's betraying themselves by not acting out of love, by not putting themselves first. Virgo, it's time for you to put yourself first, okay? It is. You need to find your inner strength. And you need to have compassion and love for you. Okay? Because upright, she is compassion, love, and beauty. Reversed, you know, 
you're not loving yourself. You're not having compassion for yourself. And I have to tell you, I also feel like you have many options. You may have other options in love. And you're being called to trust your instincts. It's really, really time for you to refocus on what you desire. And that's what you're doing. You're focusing on what you desire. But you're really, really scared of things becoming out of control if you follow your instincts. And that is the ultimate self-deceit. You're letting society, you're letting whoever it is that you're worried about control you. Mm, very controlling right here. Somebody is controlling you by making you feel like you can't do what's right for you. And this person could be a group of people. Often the emperor is about society. Okay. It's time to make a decision. I think many of you want to leave a situation. You're ready to free yourself. There's a lot of disappointment in your life. You're just trying to... Or you want to escape, but you're reluctant to do it. Because you lack compassion for yourself. It's time. I feel like you have an offer. You have, a, you have an offer of love elsewhere. There's good news related to a new relationship. Should you decide to love yourself enough to do it. You know, there's definitely an opportunity for a new beginning. Okay, there is. There's an opportunity to build a new foundation someplace else. There's a lot of focus needed here, and I think that's what's going on. You guys are really taking the time to focus on your future, what you want in life. There's the one thing holding you back. What other people are going to say. But it's time to move on. Okay, it is. It's a time of transition. It's time to go on a new journey, and it will bring you the ultimate happiness. Should you decide to love yourself first, the ultimate happiness will come. But you need to stop procrastinating and you need to take action. This is completely a test. You are being tested. How much do you love yourself? That's the test. You have a new change, a new path. You have a change of course right ahead of you. A new door that is open. And with the six of swords right next to it, I, it really appears to me that it's time for you to go through that new door. You will be thrilled if you do. If you do, you will have a very positive new, new beginning where you feel secure, you feel stable, and, you, and it's like a gift. It's like you're being offered a gift from above. You're being offered this new, wonderful beginning. But there you are. There you are, trying to do the right thing. I need to be practical here. All right, that's what it is. I need to be practical. This is very, I'm very motherly, and that's who you are. I think being a mother is part of this equation. One of the reasons why you are reluctant. You know, there's also a feeling of loyalty here. I made a commitment. I have to be loyal. But the fact of the matter is, 
is the ultimate loyalty is to yourself. When you can be truly loyal to yourself, the ultimate happiness will come. That's when you're truly enlightened. When you truly love yourself and you are loyal to yourself. Now I've pushed this over next to the Nine of Pentacles, okay? This is a different deck. Okay, this is you becoming independent or being independent and being very happy with all that you have, all that you are living and creating what you desire very happily and being patient because this is patience. Being patient, waiting for this new door to open. A new door is going to open for you should you be loyal to yourself. We're going to get one more card, then we're going to go to the Angel Romance. I feel like this is a week of really deciding what you want. Because that, that's what it is. It's like, I need to really, and that's what you're doing. It's like, what am I going to do? Am I going to stay or am I going to go? And this is this is probably for, I don't know if it's for singles or couples. You figure that out. Okay, I'm just giving you the message. <laughs> you know, I feel like if you're single, there is an opportunity for a new door, but you're still clinging to the past. You're trying to find out. You're soul searching. So if you're single, you might not. If somebody comes into your life, you might be like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I, I, I you know, that kind of thing. If you're coupled, you know, you may be uh, thinking about being uncoupled. I mean, I'm just telling you what I see. Hard work pays off. But this is also the time is now. Eights are the time is now. Okay? It's time for you to work on yourself right now. In this time of reflection, it's not going to waste. I think you're working hard on figuring out what you want. The, the last hurdle that you need to step over is not worrying about what Tom, Dick, and Harry think. We're going to get you a romance angel. That's what the problem is here. And that's a major life lesson. When you can put yourself above what others think, you've learned a big lesson. Oh my God, it fell out and flipped over. We know this is the card, don't we? I mean, come on now. It is. It is. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time. You're the boss of your life. Nobody else. You ready for your question, Virgo? Jeez, I'm crow. I'm Virgo rising, and I didn't even ask a question, so let me think for a minute. I guess I'll ask one, too. Now that I think about the reading, interesting. Okay. It's time to take back control of your life. I'm ready. Are you? Oh boy. Perfect timing. For you to free yourself? For you to free yourself? Independence. Being grateful for all that you are, all that you have. And the more grateful you are, the more you will receive. Trust me on that one. So Virgo, this is what I have for you for this week, January 22nd through the 28th. I want to thank you for watching and I will talk to you next week.